Hi, my name is Richard Martin. I'm the author of Brilliant Maneuvers, How to Use Military Wisdom to Win Business Battles. What I want to do now is provide a quick capsule summary of each of the 10 chapters of Brilliant Maneuvers. Let's start with chapter one, which is called, How Can Military Wisdom Apply to Business? In this chapter, I give a brief history of the interaction between military wisdom and practice and business theory and practice. I also give a bit of my own background so that you understand where I'm coming from with some examples. But really the meat of the chapter is a presentation of two key concepts which provide an overarching framework to make this linkage between military wisdom and business theory and practice. And that's the concept of levels of war and conflict and the planes of war and conflict. And both of these are applicable in business. In fact, highly applicable. What are the levels of war? Very briefly, you know two of them already. There's strategy and there's tactics. And they have their equivalent in business, where we talk about business strategy or competitive strategy, and of course, business tactics. We can have sales tactics, we can have leadership tactics, we can have problem solving tactics. But there's a whole other level between that in military thought and practice, which is called operational art or just simply operations. This has some similarities to business, to the concept of business operations management, but really it's more all encompassing. What is operations in the military sense? It's taking all of the strategic objectives and goals, the vision, the mission, translating that into action at each level of the organization in order to create the conditions for tactical success. Because strategic success comes from an accumulation of tactical successes. So in the military sense, operational art or military operations is about campaign planning, is about breaking out strategic objectives into smaller and smaller pieces so that they can be handled by smaller and smaller organizations, all in line with the overall vision and plan. And it's also about creating the systems, processes, procedures, and tools to be able to translate these strategic goals into tactical success and to create the conditions for success. So we've heard of military strategy, military operations, military tactics, and there's a definite application in business where there's business strategy and business tactics, but there's also business operations. And this is a lot of what this book is about. On the other side are the planes of war and conflict. And we owe this concept to Napoleon. Napoleon famously said, the moral is to the physical in war as three is to one. In other words, he thought that moral factors, in other words, psychology, social factors, emotions, cognition, intelligence, these were three times as important as physical and material factors. We can quibble about whether it's three times or more or less, but the point here is that moral factors, psychology, what we have going on between our ears and the interactions between humans, the human element, in other words, are just as important, if not more important, in warfare and conflict than the material factors. So this is a deep insight. And what I'm going to do throughout this book is show you how to take into consideration not just the physical or material plane of business, but also the moral plane. So stay tuned for the next video, which will look at offense. Thank you.